this point, the roof and the framing are completely done for the yom. All that's left is to put the door on and put the sides on, and now we'll have a fully enclosed structure. Here I'm installing the insulation for the yom. It's the last big piece needed to finish the building. The insulation is not cheap. The cost of the sidewall insulation alone was 25 to 30 percent of the cost of the entire structure. But given the fact that in January and February it can get down to as low as minus 10 or maybe even minus 20 in Maine, there really wasn't much of a decision to be made. I pretty much had to have the insulation. It did make me think, though, quite a few times what it would have been like had I chosen to do this homesteading project in, say, San Diego or Hawaii, where the temperatures weren't going to be as brutally cold for months on end. And I have to say that me being able to survive the winter here in what amounts to a glorified tent with nothing but a wood stove is absolutely part of the experiment. And a way that I'm testing myself, because I'm not 100% sure that I'm cut out to do this. But I've made it this far, so I'm gonna give it a shot. The ohm construction is complete. Now in one sense, it was a ton of work. But in another sense, it's actually kind of incredible that I can build a winter-ready shelter in like five or six days. And I really like this thing, and the time I've spent in it, I've really begun to appreciate the high ceilings and the giant triangles on the side. It's unlike any building I've ever seen before. And I built it, and pretty soon I'm gonna get to live in it. There's one more thing that I have to accomplish before I can do that though, and that's get a heat source in it. I'll tackle that in the next video. <laughs>